with high inflation and ever rising costs, keeping money in the bank at fixed deposit rates is the worst strategy for your retirement. Hello everyone and welcome back to the SDA Club, the club for stock trading and analysis. This channel is dedicated to providing you with high quality tutorials, guides and insights that demystify the world of trading. So join us as we will share more trading secrets and valuable insights. To stay updated and be the first to access these valuable resources, hit the subscribe button now. By subscribing, you're opening the door to a world of trading and maximizing your potential for success. Before we dive in, here's a quick disclaimer. The information in this video is for educational purposes only. It's not a call to buy or sell. In today's series, we will give you some tips on how you can use three simple steps to build a powerful, diversified passive income portfolio. At the end of this video, I will also share with you my own portfolio and reveal to you my portfolio yield and how I allocate my assets. Step 1. You need diversification. So, what is portfolio diversification? Diversification is a risk management technique that spreads your money across a variety of investments and asset classes. The goal of diversification is to build a portfolio that is diverse enough so that the risk of failure of any stock in your portfolio will not entirely affect your retirement goal. So, before you start building your portfolio, you will need to know how much do you need for your retirement. Therefore, in step 2, you will need to start saving and budgeting. Some of you may have heard of the rule of 25 to plan for your retirement. Of course, your retirement plans depends on what sort of lifestyle you would like to lead during your retirement. A luxurious lifestyle during retirement would of course require you to save up a larger amount. A modest lifestyle likewise requires saving up less. To do a simple calculation on how much you need for your retirement, we can use the rule of 25. So, all you need to do is Step 1. Calculate your monthly budget that maintains your current lifestyle. Say, you currently spend $4,000 a month today. And Step 2. You multiply your monthly budget by 12 to get your yearly budget. If you spend $4,000 a month, that will be $48,000 a year. And finally, in step 3, you multiply the yearly budget that you got by 25. This would give you $1.2 million for you to maintain your current lifestyle when you retire. Now, what is the 4% rule? The 4% rule is intended to supply a steady stream of income while maintaining an adequate account balance for future years during your retirement. To understand the 4% rule, let me give you an example. Say, you have saved up $1.2 million based on your retirement. Upon retirement, you will be able to make withdrawals of $48,000 from your savings in the first year and then add 3% to the first year's withdrawal amount in the second year and so on to account for inflation. Therefore, by doing so, you will be redrawing $49,440 in the second year of your retirement. You will notice that the second year's redrawal is slightly higher as its calculation takes into account yearly inflation of roughly 3%. Should you feel that $1.2 million sounds like an astronomical amount to you today? Fret not, because as long as you can remain disciplined in your savings and investment approach by consistently focusing on your retirement goals, you will eventually notice that you have accumulated enough to at least retire. Then not to start planning at all. So stay focused. In step 3, the final step, you will need to start investing your savings and let your money work harder for you. Here, I would like to show you an example of the types of asset classes I own in my portfolio. Is this considered a well-diversified portfolio? It depends on how you structure your portfolio based on your risk appetite. For me, I prefer creating a balanced portfolio with almost the same proportion in stocks and bonds. The rest will be held in cash and used as emergency funds. In the next section, I will show you what stocks and bonds you can accumulate to build your superior retirement portfolio. So, what stocks and bonds should we be focusing on to create a sustainable passive income portfolio that will take us into retirement comfortably? We like some exposure in the three major Singapore banks for its dividend yield and its potential to grow its interest margins as they set to strengthen their foothold across Asia. OCBC currently gives a dividend yield of 6.22%. UOB gives a dividend yield of 5.89%, while DBS gives a dividend yield of 5.88% based on their last traded market prices. We also like some exposure 
in the Singapore REIT market. We select only the three largest household names such as Ascenders Capital Land REIT, which pays a distribution yield of 4.83%, Maple Tree Industrial Trust REIT, which pays a distribution yield of 5.29%, and Star Hill Global REIT, which pays a distribution yield of 6.56% based on their last traded market prices. As you can see, all these stocks are paying dividends well above the current fixed deposit rates. For bonds, we like the SSB or the Singapore Savings Bond that pays an average of 3% coupons and carries zero capital risk. These bonds are 10-year bonds and are fully backed by the Singapore government. You can also choose to invest in bond ETFs with exposure to the US government bonds. You can, as an investor, also invest a small proportion of your holdings in ETFs and get some exposure into a basket of bonds by investing in the iShares 20 plus year US Treasury Bond ETF or also called TLT that has a current yield to maturity of 4.19%. TLT tracks the underlying 20 plus year US Treasury Bonds. US Treasury Bonds are one of the safest investments due to the US government's world reputation as the leader of the global economy. US has also so far not defaulted on its debt. And the US dollar remains the most influential globally traded currency to date. Let's now take a look at what sort of weightage an ideal portfolio should have on each stock and bond invested. For a conservative investor, we recommend an almost equal exposure into stocks and bonds. If you choose to follow our recommendations to invest in the three Singapore banks and the three blue chip Singapore REITs, we think it's best to have an exposure of at least 8% of your funds into each of these six stocks. Assuming that you already have a retirement portfolio of $1.2 million in stocks and bonds, we recommend you. And in each of these six stocks, we recommend that each stock will have an equal exposure of 96000 Likewise, we recommend you to have a similar 360000 invested into Singapore savings bonds and the balance of $192,000 invested into the iShares 20 plus year US Treasury Bond ETF. A portfolio constructed this way will give you an average annual income yield of 4.4% today. That would, in turn, give us an average monthly passive income of $4,400 a month on a $1.2 million portfolio today. With $4,400 per month in passive income today, could already be quite decent for retirement, at least for me. Bearing in mind that dividends from the stock portfolio could increase over time due to inflation too. So, we hope that this video has enlightened you and encouraged you to start planning for your retirement today. It's never too late. See you in our next video. Goodbye.